And so, what are the different elements of a bra that are doing it? Ways to weaponize women for their purposes, and how do we need to capture those? Are there any elements in the bra that you could change to, to patent? That's, that's what we're thinking. Because one thing that's not like having an adjustable right here, that's no one's doing that. Okay. So maybe we just think around the elements of the bra. So elements of an existing bra that can be adjusted or changed. changed. Okay. Because there's, I mean, people have done, you know, a really a bra yeah, where, yeah, use this yeah, where you know, you could take the straps off and you know, you could it could be straps okay. if you want to do that. But people don't really like them. I mean, they're not they're not okay. good. Okay. So we don't want to make it too funky where it's like adjustable everywhere and no one's going to like it. Okay, well, okay. I think let's, let's get as many ideas out there as we can. Um, <laughs> so how can we change this? <laughs> it's about as simple as you can right, get, so really. You had the strap, the band, the underwire. Um, something about like the cup, this is itself, the cup it. itself. The, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, like the, you, class. the size could change per week, really. I mean, if you had things that like fit, like if you had like, it's like kind of a replaceable like stock, and then you just put in a different cup or whatever. I don't know if that's plausible or not. Right. Like if if you have a significant change in size right. per month or per whatever. So how could you? So it doesn't change. So that would be a, like a cup insert. One thing we were talking about is like, is there something to, the U shape is very standard, mm -hmm. if there's something we could do there, to, so, because I mean you can see like, it, yeah. it could dig into you and it's really uncomfortable. Okay. Or I mean is there like some of the, okay, yeah, the, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, like you're, you're, you mentioned this thing here yeah. in particular being painful. Like I don't know, yeah. some kind of additional padding at this this point here, um, or something to replace the wire, or something together. to replace yeah. the wire exactly. Yeah, like some sort of reinforcement that is not pointy, right, right, so right. rigid. Yeah. So, like, so what are what are some of those things? Like, like you know those, plastic, those crazy um, like strips that they sell to women to like act like a bra and it's like glued underneath you and there's yeah. nothing else to it. So like is there some like super strong but flexible plastic or whatever that can replace this all together? Yeah. That's, that's and that's very what about like that's yeah. Yeah. layers of foam, like layers of laminated foam or something? So you have a whole bunch of layers of foam. It comes out the underwear. Oh. Very uncomfortable. Where the hell? <laughs> Um, but, Maybe sorry. there's an opportunity to get the same support with a smaller wire. It doesn't have to be. Oh, I see. Be. Okay, smaller wire. That's cool. Yeah, yeah. yeah. underwire. Wire. Wire. What if the support went up further? Like all the ones I see with these underwires, they stop. They yeah. stop like right there. What if it went more? See, I think the problem is, is because then it's like uh, where it's right. attached to your arm. Sure, arm's yeah. Attached. That's all right. Throw the idea in there. Yeah. <laughs> but if it were not a wire and it were less rigid but still so, provided support, maybe yeah. it adapts to like your, the contours of your armpit. One thing so if right. we were thinking, if you could have some sort of adjustable wire too. So if you wanted it to be smaller, you could make it smaller. If you want it to be larger, you could make it larger. Oh my, what's the purpose, not, of, the, what's the purpose of the wire? Like, is there something that can be done from the top? Top down as opposed to the bottom up. Right. Just throw yeah. top down in there. Down. <laughs> okay, let's. Yeah. Top down, top like bungee cords? Yeah. <laughs> How do you spell bungee? B U S. That doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's what we I mean, were. Seriously, yeah. like, there's, yeah. there's some physical, you know, it's doing something from the bottom up, but it could be. Yeah, that's what I was what are you trying to get with a bra? You're trying to get lift and um, stability. You don't want to be shaking around. But I mean, it's almost like, you know, if there was something to like hold it up that you could like clip to your, the back of your pants. <laughs> so it's not under, yeah, so it's like holding it up, holding you up this way. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's hot. <laughs> The bra suspenders. Wait until you all are wearing them. For men and women. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's man's ears. Uh, um, so I think maybe we could 
what we can move on to is thinking about the fit kit and how we could capture all these different kind of particularities about women's breasts. How can we capture that and make it easy for a customer to use? Okay. Um, so, so like you said, it has to be easy to use. Like yeah. anybody can figure it out. Yeah. So ideally, like you've seen these, like uh, think of a medical bandage where you, you have a, a container and you open it and as the air hits it, it activates some sort of material that hardens. And so if you have a thin piece and you put that on there and it actually takes a mold and then you mail that back to whoever and that, then they make the... So a mail versus a, like we were talking about earlier, I think you'd hit a broader audience if it was mailed. Yeah. Instead of having to mail it back in, you can just enter in the measurements of whatever. Right. I mean, I think that's one thing. Is like easy to use is important, and you guys were talking about earlier how you know there's the best thing you can do is walk into a store and find the expert and get measured. How do you take the expert out of the store and put them wherever? The customer is, or the woman is like, is there a form? Like, is there a, a select an answer? You know, I'm this type of person, I'm this type of shape. Like, if I self identify and answer these 10 questions, then all of a sudden you're recommending back to me the, 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 the probable shape, size, usage that I'm going to have. Right? I think on that, you do that on both the sort of fashion, what are you looking for out of your bra, but also on the fit. I mean, what's that running shoe, the running store that does this really well with running shoes? Like, are you, are you, um, you know, what, do you have an injury, how much do you run, and there's like three other questions, and then they, and then they give you 20 shoe, um, possible shoes for you to wear based on answering three questions. It's really pretty spot on. Well, what's a real, okay, go ahead. I was going to say, what's another really customizable fashion business? Like, is there anything else where you like are so worried about fit like it seems like most fashion items are made for masses of people right right i think what makes what makes for us so interesting is that you have that you have a very real functional element something that it has to do but then you also have a fashionable element and you also have this very right. personal sexual element yeah. that, that makes it a little bit more right <laughs> Abs no absolutely it's something in your everyday life right yeah Okay, I want to make sure we get back to Action Blazer. So why don't we brainstorm right now? So just kind of with, with how could we do a fit kit or something like that to get to take it to all the dimensions that we talked about? How, how can we get that? Capture okay, that how to capture the dimensions that we talked about. Okay. Um, um, uh, yeah, 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 we've already had a story. What are some of the ones that came out of this, this one? Right? There was the, Let's do the other. 